the Elite Eight is set. So here's your four matchups. We're going to give them to you right now. It starts up tomorrow. FAU and Kansas State. Uh, Florida Atlantic University under Dusty May is 34-3. and They will take on the New York hero, Marquise Noel, is coming off a 19-assist performance. That game is at 6.09 Eastern time on TBS. That game will be followed by Connecticut and Gonzaga. We are at the game at T-Mobile, 8.49 Eastern time. How much are you looking forward to being in the building for that game? And I'm going to ask you right now, I'm going to ask you right now, because we're in the West region, you've seen it all in person, who do you objectively believe is going to win this game tomorrow, which I believe is by far the best regional final? I, I think it's UConn, and I think that the matchup significantly favors UConn. Like, I, I just think this is a really, really bad matchup for Gonzaga. The way that you beat UConn is you get out and you pressure their guards and you take them out of what they want to run, right? And you've got to be able to make sure that you have someone in the paint that can deal with the Dama Sonogo one-on-one, and you need to have someone that can chase Jordan Hawkins off of those screens. Because that guy has none of that. Like, their strength is, is being able to get the ball to Timmy and run offense through Drew Timmy. And UConn has two pros, All-Americans, however, whatever you want to call it. Two guys, completely different style of play. But they have 10 fouls to go up against Drew Timmy, who just played the, the, the 40 minutes in the, the game of his life. Like, Here's you know my his, question to you. Give me one matchup other than Drew Timmy, and I'm not sure again. Drew Timmy wins his matchup tomorrow mm-hmm. against those two. Give me one matchup that favors Gonzaga. I don't. Does Drew Timmy favor? Is he? That's favored? what I'm asking you. Like, I mean, he does because he's the well, best let damn me, college let me, player. Let but, me uh, let me ask but you this. Against those two dudes. So on probably. on Underdog Fantasy Code Field 100% deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Um, right now, the 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 numbers there. Go ahead. Drew Timmy 21 and a half points higher or lower. It is seven and a half rebounds higher or lower, and then points, rebounds, and assists. 32 and a half. So you would go you would go lower on no, 21.5 no, points that's for Timmy? Idi- that's idiocy. Today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play college basketball pick'em, where you can get a little extra sweat during March Madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games. In pick'em, all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on Underdog's projected totals whether that's points rebounds whatever for example if you're like me and you think zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament pick higher on his points projection add up to four more picks and if you hit them all you can win 20 times your money on a single game underdog slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like jeff goodman have even figured it out so go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code Field F I E L D and underdog will match your deposit up to a hundred bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, underdogfantasy.com promo code field. He scored 20 plus points in the NCAA Here's tournament in 10 straight games. Here's why I wouldn't, too, because if it's a route, if it's 15 or something, Timmy will get his. Mm-hmm. He'll get his. Yeah. What about seven and a half rebounds? Sure. I mean, he's got to get it. He's got to get seven and a half rebounds, Rob. He has to. This isn't who about else, Timmy. Who else is going to? Exactly. That's where the game gets decided. It's not about what Drew Timmy does or doesn't do. Gonzaga doesn't have enough in their backcourt. That's, that's the problem. And mm-hmm. UConn has Jordan Hawkins playing at an extremely high level. Andre Jackson is a playmaker. I mean, he had a, get close to a triple-double last night. Tristan Newton hasn't been. It's not like Tristan Newton is otherworldly. UConn didn't need outstanding point guard play. With a team with this many great pieces and parts, you just need good point guard play. Just be a middle child. And that's what he's been. Tristan Newton has been really good at keeping the team together. And no disrespect to the middle children. I got two siblings who are in the middle, middle, but and I love them both. I'm, but it's true. Tristan Newton doesn't need to be this unbelievable point guard. Not when you have the pieces that they do. Gonzaga doesn't have enough after Timmy. They don't. I, I mean, listen, Nolan Hickman is solid. Yeah, good team. Malachi Smith is really good when he doesn't have to go against length and athleticism. I worry about him against this UConn team. You know, you could put Andre Jackson on whoever the hell you want, right? And he's going to probably shut him down. He's probably going to shut him there's, down. There's Hunter another. Salas has been better lately. He, he's athletic enough, at least. But, again, I mean, this is a kid who hasn't played a ton throughout the season he's been up and down right so like who 
I mean, Julian Strother has to play lottery pick. He has to play like the last eight here's, minutes here's of the, what the Here's what That's they need the to do. That's the only chance they have. This is, That's it. This is the problem, is that the way that the matchups currently work, if you're going to play Anton Watson at the four, Andre Jackson is going to be on Julian Strother. And I don't see Julian Strother being able to get it going against Andre Jackson. The only reason what why you, what you have to he do had the biggest shot of his career, maybe he picks up where he left off and walks just, in there like the man. It, he, he needs might, to. He might, but he's going up against one of the best defensive players in college basketball. If I'm, if I'm Mark Few, what yeah. I'm doing, and it's a risk because you can't compound him on the glass, but I think you need to play Strother at the four and make Alex Caravan guard him. Because the way to be able to beat UConn, not only is it pressuring them in the uh, in the half court, it's Caravan's a guy you got to attack. Now, Caravan has also gotten significantly better on the defensive end of the floor since January, and I don't even know if that's going to necessarily be a mismatch. But it's just there's no there's no good option. There. I still keep going back, and and again, like I just keep going back, and not to win this this game, I think they win. But again, when we talk about UConn winning the national title, it's like. All these great point guards that have won national titles over the last 15 years. You could probably get the list. Here's, up now. The, here's, By that here's, argument, here's Marquise Noel will win the national championship. He might. 